Hello, and welcome to this short video where we'll explore some of the most frequently asked questions about the library's online search tool, Omni. We'll cover how to sign in when you're off campus, how to access online resources, how to generate citations, how to renew and request print materials, and finally, how to check your search history. Let's begin. How do I sign in when I'm off campus? To ensure that you have full access to the library's online articles, ebooks, and other resources when you're off campus, it's important to sign in through a proxy server. This is like a digital bridge that connects you to the library, giving you remote access to resources that you would normally have using campus Wi-Fi. There are two ways to sign in to the proxy server. The first way is to enter proxy.library.brocku.ca into your browser's address bar. You'll be prompted to enter your campus ID and password. Ensure that you do not include at brocku.ca when entering your ID. Once you've signed in successfully, click on Library Homepage. From here, you're free to explore Omni, all library databases, and other resources. Keep in mind that Omni requires you to sign in again to view your library account, renew books, make requests, and much more. The second way to sign in to the proxy server is to begin searching in Omni. When you're working off campus and you select an online article or ebook, you'll be prompted to sign in to view it. As before, enter your campus ID and password to have full access. How do I view full text articles and ebooks through Omni? To view full text articles and ebooks online, the first step is to sign into your Omni account. Next, search for any keywords or terms of interest. By default, the results will include both physical and online resources. You may modify the search results by selecting any number of filters along the left hand side of the page. Select Available Online to view results accessible from your computer. Click on the resource title or available online to get more information, including the link to the article. An overlay view appears, displaying the full description of the article. Here's where you want to go first. Full text availability. In this case, the article is only available from one site. Click on that link. A new tab opens in the browser, bringing you as close as possible to the full text article. Most of the time, it's the journal's website and the page where the article lives. From here, you have options to open it as a PDF, read the text right there on the page, or look through the journal for other articles of interest. It may even list similar articles along the side. Every journal is different, so explore what's available each time you view a new article. Follow the same steps to view full text ebooks. How do I generate a citation? To generate a citation, select the quote icon. This opens a window where you may select your preferred citation style preview the citation, and copy it to your clipboard to paste into a bibliography or another location. Remember to check your citations for accuracy before including them in your work. How do I renew books online? To renew books online, click on your name and select My Loans. In this view, you may renew any book individually or click on Renew All. The loan period for all students, faculty, staff, and Brock retirees is 120 days, approximately one semester, with unlimited renewals. Note that any loaned book is subject to early recall if another user requests it. How do I request print materials online? To request print materials such as books or journals, select any item with an available status. If the item is not available, you may still place your request, but note that it may take up to one week for the item to be returned by the user currently borrowing it. In this view, click on Request. Enter a date after which you will no longer need the item. Because some materials have more than one request pending, this date tells the library when it's okay for the request to expire. Enter any comments and click the Send Request button. You'll receive an email when the item is ready for pickup. For available items, that's usually the next day. Pick up any requested materials at the Ask Us desk located on the main floor of the Matheson Learning Commons. Print materials are also available to the Hamilton Campus Instructional Resource Centers, as well as the Marilyn I. Walker School Learning Commons. Fill out an online form to make a request for these locations. How do I check my search history? 
When you are signed in and are conducting searches, Omni will temporarily save your searches for the active session. To check your search history, click on the clock icon. A list of all previous searches will appear. Keep in mind that if you sign out of Omni or the active session times out, the list will disappear. If you want to save a search query to run again in the future, select Save Query at the top of any results view. This query will be saved to your account even after you sign out. To run a saved query, click on the clock icon, select Saved Searches, and then select a search. Omni will run that search again for you. Thank you for following along with us in this Omni FAQ video. We encourage you to explore Omni's many features, begin searching the library's many resources, and connect with us for guidance if needed.